Welcome to History 201, also known as The Ascent of Man, an introduction to the history of science. The course is named for the main book that we're going to be reading, The Ascent of Man by Jacob Gronowski. As you will discover, this is not a brand new book. In fact, it's 40 years old. So you may wonder, isn't it a little bit out of date by now? And if so, why do we still use it? Well, the main reason we still use it is because there's a wonderful set of videos that goes along with it. Each one is an hour long, and there are 13 of them, so if we watch one every week, that'll take us all the way through the semester. So this course is built around this video series, and you should plan to watch one of the one-hour shows every week until you've watched them all. By the way, you don't have to buy these videos. Um, and you don't have to go to the library to watch them, uh, you'll find that you, you'll get access to them online. These videos were originally shown as television shows on PBS. They're narrated by the author of the book, Jacob Ronowski, and I think you'll find that he does a very good job of making the uh, subject matter interesting. Now, each of the 13 video programs matches up with one chapter in the book. So in addition to watching the videos, you should also plan to read the corresponding chapter in the book. You'll find that by doing that, it'll reinforce what you've learned by watching the videos. And then there's also one other thing I'm going to ask you to read. As I said before, Bonowski's book is 40 years old now, so it shouldn't be surprising that in some ways it's a bit out of date. So to compensate for that, I'm also going to ask you to read some brief passages from a more recently published book, uh, one that I'm familiar with because I wrote it, uh, A People's History of Science. Okay, that takes care of the reading part of the course, but then the other side of the assignments is the writing part, where you let me know what it is that you're getting out of the reading. Obviously, because this is an online course, we're not going to be having classroom discussions. So as a substitute for that, twice a week, we're going to have discussions through the computer keyboard and the computer screen. If you know how the Blackboard uh, software works, you know about the discussion board feature. And that's what we're going to be using twice a week to discuss the videos and the readings. Those twice a week writing assignments will be brief, just three or four paragraphs each time at the most. So that shouldn't be very difficult as long as you keep up with watching the videos and doing the readings. But there's also another kind of writing assignment in this course, and that is that you're going to be asked to write three, essay, three essays, one each month, for the last three months of the course. Now don't panic. These essays only have to be about 1,500 words maximum in length. Now, what I've just told you is everything that's expected of you in the course. This is the good news. There are no examinations in this course. Zero. No midterm exam. No final exam. No quizzes. Nothing of that kind. So how do I evaluate you for the grade that I have to give you at the end of the semester? It will all be entirely based on the twice-weekly writing assignments and the three essays. But on the, I'll also give you some uh, chances to earn extra credit points. If you want to know exactly how the grades are going to be calculated, you can read about it in detail on the course website. If you go to the section headed Course Information and then click on the Grading Policies icon. So those are the main things I wanted to tell you. But I do have two more points to make that you might find helpful with regard to how you can succeed in this course and maximize your grade. First is what I call the Woody Allen Principle. Woody Allen once said, 80% of success is showing up. Woody Allen's a comedian, of course, but there's a lot of very serious wisdom in that statement. Whether or not you are a brilliant student, you can succeed in this course by showing up. That is, by getting your written assignments in on time, every time. A brilliant student who only shows up erratically may, if lucky, get a C in the course, while a less than brilliant student who submits all assignments promptly 
has a decent chance of getting an A. The second point is that for best results, you should try to get yourself into the rhythm of the course. The twice-weekly writing assignments lend themselves to a rhythmic approach to the course. The twice-weekly writing assignments are due every Tuesday and every Thursday. So to get into a weekly rhythm, you should set aside a regular time every week, well before Tuesday, to watch the video, uh, to read the chapters, and to submit your response to the questions that are due on Tuesday and Thursday. You should also make a little time to read what the other students in the class are saying in answer to these questions and respond to them, and hopefully they'll respond to you as well. Now the important thing in all of this is to do it uh, in a regular, regularly rhythmic way. And if you do, you'll find that it doesn't take an inordinate amount of time, and you'll be able to handle it. However, one final word to the wise. There's a lot of reading and writing to do in this course. If you're taking four or five other courses this semester, you may find the demands of this course to be overwhelming. I don't say that to frighten you away, but I do want you to be realistic in figuring out how much of a workload you can take on in a single semester. Okay, that's all for now. Um, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that I'm not going to be doing any more video lecturing this semester. I'll leave that to Bronowski, who does it in a much more entertaining way than I could ever do. I hope all of you find this course to be interesting, and uh, I hope it's intellectually stimulating to you. I hope it furthers your educational goals, whatever they may be, and I do hope you do well in this course and in the other courses this semester. So good luck to you.